I've been recently looking through some old magazine CDs that I have um, that contain some Photoshop tutorials to see if I can convert them into Affinity Photo. Now this one I believe came from around about 2015 and in that the magazine challenged two of their writers to make a sort of tourist montage out of the same pictures to see how each writer would rise to the challenge and do the challenge differently. So they gave them the same set of photographs and they had to sort of come up with different ways of doing this montage. So I'm going to be doing the same thing. I'm going to spread them over two videos. I was, this is going to be a very long video but the introduction will be the same on both. So you know, they end up with something like this. Um, but first of all let's have a look at the pictures that I'm going to use for the challenge. Now, I've got this two pictures of London, which is the um, St Paul's Cathedral there and Canary Wolf, both iconic sort of images of London. And then I've got two different types of images, the man and the woman. I've got two images of a bus, one that does include Big Ben, which uh, or the Westminster Tower, I should say. And let's have one again with a London bus, but it does have some Porsche Cathedral in the back again. And this London sort of underground sign that's just got London in it. And then there's two textures. There's that texture there and there's that texture there. So they are the images that I'm restricting myself to to try and complete the two different challenges that were in this magazine. Now, as you can see from this image here, I've got the St Paul's Cathedral background here and the bus, one of the buses here. The London sign will be sort of consistent through all of these, but this is a similar I image with the same sort of challenge, but using, still using St Paul's Cathedral, but using the different London bus image. And then the other challenge that one of the other writers did was to come up with this sort of effect where the background is round the outside but also inside the logo much better. Um, so again, we've got the St Paul's Cathedral background here. And this next one where you've got the Canary Wolf um, background, which doesn't show up as well as the some Paul's Cathedral but it's still quite effective I think so this is what I'm going to be doing in over these two videos I'm going to try and show you how I did both of these um, types of uh, challenges they won't end up looking exactly the same as this because all things will end up in slightly different positions but hopefully it will be near enough so I'm going to stop the intro now and we're going to start with version 1 or 2 depending on which one you are watching at the moment and quickly before I do start the tutorials is I just want to add that you don't have to follow using the same pictures all of which I got from pixabay.com and I will be adding links to these images if you want to follow on using the same images but I would suggest you use your own images um, because you may want to include a place where you've been on holiday and you know a picture of yourself maybe so you have a montage of a place you've been to you just need a couple of iconic images from the whatever city you go to so could, if this was Paris for example you could have the Eiffel Tower and maybe uh, the Louvre and a sort of an iconic sign or flag possibly from the city or country that it's from I mean, because if this was Paris again, you could have a Metro Underground sign rather than the London sign. So don't restrict yourself to these images necessarily. I mean, it could be of your local town. I mean, because if I was going to do one of myself in from where I live, Walton, I could have Walton Pier and Walton Tower, and then maybe find a a sign that has Walton on it or have the Union Jack as a symbol in the background so 
don't necessarily feel yourself restricted to these images. So thank you. Right, the first version I'm going to do is to try and replicate this image here with the two halves of different images and icons of London taking up each half of the background. Now when I did this one I used the St Paul's Cathedral image as the main background and the size of that was 5472 by 3574 but this time I want to try it with the Canary Wolf image which is much smaller and doesn't give me so much wiggle room so what I've done is I've started a brand new image and I made it 5000 by 3000 pixels to give me a bit of extra um, room to manoeuvre. So the first thing I'm going to do is get this canary wolf image. I'm just going to right click the layer here and come to copy. Come to my background image and then up to edit and paste. So now I just need to resize this and reposition it as the main background for this size of layer that I have made. So I'll just come to the move tool and I'm going to come to this corner here. I'm going to hold down the control key and just quickly resize, reposition and Maybe bring it over a little bit more. Let me just resize this, to zoom out slightly. Let's see it, I think. Right, I press Control and Zero to put that back in the middle. So there we have our background, main background image in place. So now the next thing I want is the bus image one here so again I'll just right click that have to copy come back to our image and then edit and paste and let me just move this over here and then we're just going to resize this That's about there okay so what I may do here is just erase some of this as I don't need any of this um, I can do this in a number of ways but for now I'm just going to go with the quickest way which is the eraser brush opacity I've got it on 30% hardness on zero let me just Increase the size of the brush and then just let's raise the opacity a bit just to help blend this layer in with the layer that's underneath it. reduce the size a bit and right right now I've done that let me just resize this a bit Yeah, that's a bit better I think maybe just do a little bit more erasing there we go right I'm happy with that now right now what I'm going to do is right click this top layer here and then I'm going to come down to merge visible 
so it will make a single layer that has everything that I've done so far all on that one layer and to this I'm now going to add some blur so I'm going to come up to filter blur Gaussian blur now you want this to be fairly high because you just want this to be sort of like um, a representation of these buildings not necessarily um, and the bus not necessarily a pin sharp image so I'm going to go for about 11 pixels here and then just click apply so now we need our portrait image this time I'm going to use the man and so I'm just going to use this quickly use a selection brush on this let's raise the size a bit let's have it on add and then I'll just quickly make a selection here now if you're using your own images you may want to or you may have to be more careful and more precise with the selection because you you may not have it in like a, a fairly plain background like this one is so I'll just refine this selection slightly just do this bit around his hair And then I'll just further the overall selection by 0.5 and then click apply. And what I'll do now is I'll just press Ctrl and J to duplicate that selection onto a new layer. So I can now press Ctrl and D to get rid of that selection. So if I turn off the bottom, that is now selected. So I can now just select that layer and copy come to my image and edit and paste now this time I think I will flip the image round so I'll come to arrange and flip horizontally so this gentleman's coming from the other side Let me just make it a bit bigger because you basically you sort of want him to sort of hide some of the join where these two images of crossing over yeah that's okay I think I like that one so I will leave that where it is now so now we need the London sign and I only need the like blue and red circle here so I need to get rid of the white so for this I'm going to use the flood selection tool I'm going to lower the tolerance to 15 or so percent sorry 15 and I'm going to have contiguous ticked so I'll just click in the white area there and it has selected all the outside white area so I'll now come to add click on the inner two halves to add those two to the selection but it is actually the inside that I want selected not the white so what I'm going to do is come up to select and invert pixel selection and then press Control and J and then Control and D to get rid of the selection area and because I press Control and J I duplicated that and I now have that with no background at all so I can just right click and copy and come back to our montage and then paste that sign in and then it's just a case of resizing repositioning just reduce that size slightly now this is the tricky part of where you want this to go um, because what we do, if I change the blend mode of this to soft light you'll get a sort of slightly better idea of how visible this will be I think for this particular image I might 
reduce that and put it about there I think maybe just nudge it over slightly right yes yeah, so I quite like that there so in the tutorials that the magazines did um, the person left this at the front of the image over the person's face and then they they use layer masks or you could use your razor tool to take that image away from the person but I personally if you find it's just easy just to click and drag this layer down until that blue line goes all the way across to both sides and then let go and then that image will now be behind the person which I personally think is a, a better option so all you may want to do now is to maybe alter the opacity of this layer 100% maybe too strong you may just want a sort of bit more of a hint of that we try that about 50% yes that's okay so now we need a texture now I'm going to use this texture here so I'll just right click this copy and come back and then I will edit and paste that texture in and then just need to do a little bit of resizing don't have to worry too much about textures about keeping them in proportion so it does not really that important so much and once you have it in and I placed it above the London sign but below the um, portrait image again in the tutorial they put it above the portrait image and added the texture to the person in the picture as well you can do that I personally didn't like the look of it um, so I've put it behind and then it's just a case of changing the blend mode to overlay and then again just lowering the opacity of that down until you get a result that you like that's about 60 that's on 62 but that's close enough I think so basically that would be the tutorial finished you could try and I mean I'll just show you I'll put this at the top I'll click and drag this to the top and you can see the texture is now over the the gentleman as well you may like that look I personally didn't so I've put mine behind so the person is clear and it, you know, well detailed where the background is just a hint of London of where he is working for example so thank you for watching and I will see you in part two